Lunchtime Pals. How is everybody doing? My name is Lindsay and I am with Perfectly Pastry. Who is Perfectly Pastry? We are a local bakery in Waterloo, Illinois. We also do wholesale baking for restaurants and coffee shops. And we have a whole website that has all kinds of resources for other bakery business owners. Um, we talk about what we do, how we did it, um, and help share ideas to help you grow your business. We tell you what we've done and you can apply it or not apply it. That's totally up to you. How is everybody doing? If you are watching me live, drop me a heart. Let me know you're watching me live. If this is the first time you've ever watched me, drop me number one. Let me know. Like, hey, it's the first time I've ever watched you. Um, and if you're watching me on replay, I totally am excited that you are watching this, even if you missed us live. Thank you. Thank you so much. And drop me a hashtag replay. Let me know. Like, hey, girl, I caught you live. I'm sorry. I caught you on replay. I didn't catch you on live. It's all right. It happens. Um, how are you doing this week? I have a new guest with me. She's a little anxious. Um, I'm being here. Her legs are bopping around. I'm like, girl, it's okay. Calm down. It's not a big deal. Chill. Relax. Um, I want you guys to know, as you can see, as this banner, I hate when I'm trying to do this. There you go. Yeah, better than me. It's scrolling by. Make sure you stop by and twirl like a princess this week for your 10% off. And our address is 201 North Main Street in Waterloo, Illinois. That's right like a pretty pretty princess um we've been having so much fun with you guys with these weekly activities we want to thank you guys all for joining us with that it has been funny to see you guys come in stop by ask what it is for the week if you didn't see it on our social media uh do you guys like my sister's moon video she was like girl why'd you why'd you post that video and then tell everybody it was my it was me doing it because she was like i sound so silly you should have made the video and i was like oh was so funny so then i shared it on facebook <laughs> Because I'm the kind sister that I am, right? You know, I like to do that to her. It's a thing. Have you guys been by the shop lately? Yes. I'm so excited. Have you seen our adorable cupcake? Um, we have a new stained glass piece. It is our logo. It is up in the shop. You can definitely stop by and take pictures with it. Um, I'm so excited. We also have some new flower pieces I shared on Instagram story, stories last week. So if you missed them, definitely stop by and see. Are These are gorgeous flowers that are stained glass. They're so pretty. They're actually not like what you put up in your window. It's like for decorations for your table. They're so, so pretty. So besides all these stained glass, because you're like, what does stained glass have to do with a bakery? Well, we love supporting other local businesses and small artists and um, just small business in general. And so we have some stained glass pieces that we have in our shop. We've been partnering with other small businesses to bring you some variety. Girl, you need to smile. They can see you like grumping at the camera. Oh you wouldn't even know she's my daughter. Here I'm smiling. She's like, okay, yeah. I guess, I guess if you know me, I mean mug a lot. So maybe that's just natural for you. <laughs> smile. It goes a long way. Anyways. Uh, so we, yeah, we like to Join with other local businesses, help them grow and let you experience a bunch of different stuff. Honey, they can see you do that as well. Okay, well, <laughs> let's not. Anyways, um, as a reminder, besides all the tasty bakery treats that a typical bakery will carry, we also have vegan-friendly options. We have gluten-friendly options, and we have keto-friendly options. Keto-friendly options are also diabetic-friendly because they are made with an alternative sugar that prevents the blood, uh, blood sugar spikes and a... Um, it's low carb. So we use flour alternative as well, which makes them gluten friendly or gluten free as well. Yeah, gluten friendly. So, um, all right, let's see here. Let's get into interviewing my eldest. She's with me today. All right. I have to like adjust my computer so I can pull up the questions so it doesn't seem as weird because I'm like, where'd they go? All right, you guys, let's start here. Why don't you go ahead and tell everybody your name? Hi, I'm Brianna. You are Brianna. That is correct. She is my eldest. What grade are you going into? Eight. She is going to eighth grade. So those of you who don't know, my sister and I have kiddos that are very close apart or yeah, very close in age. So our oldest are seven months apart, our middle, well, my middle her youngest are three months apart. And then my youngest is actually four years younger than everybody else. Yeah. We have them all spaced out too. Um, they're all like four years apart or five. I think my, I think Haley and Raylan technically are five years. Brianna and Madeline are four years. Madeline and Sloan are four years. Hazel and Magnolia. Yeah. 
obviously, because there's a big difference. But all right. So what is one of your favorite things to do over the summer? Uh, stream or just paint? Paint or stream by stream. She's talking about Twitch. Oh, my gosh. It was so funny. My dad, he called me the other day and he was like, I had a job offer to help a streamer. And I was like, oh, that's cool. What do they do? And he's like, you know what a streamer is? I'm like, dad, I have teenagers. Okay. Of course I know what streamers are. And he was like blown away about the fact that this guy like streams. He streams on YouTube and not on Twitch. Uh -huh. And um, he gets paid money. So he was, he was like going to offer to pay my dad to like drive him around so he can stream. My dad's like, what? What is this? Yeah. I'm like, welcome dad to the world of teenagers. Anyways. Um, Tell everybody something about you. I play basketball for my middle school. Okay. I've been playing for two years now. So she plays a basketball for middle school. She's been playing for two years. She really enjoys basketball yeah. a lot. Um, all right. What is something you do to help Perfectly Pastry, help out with Perfectly Pastry? I uh, help create the pictures for Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Uh huh. And you've helped us come what with TikTok ideas. Yes, uh, one of the recipes I made. <gasps> she did. I forgot all about that. The pumpkins. The pumpkin American, American buttercream. Butter so on our website we have pumpkin American buttercream. It is her recipe. We had some leftover pumpkin, and we were trying to figure out what to do. We had some sugar cookies, mm -hmm. and so we created um. A pumpkin American buttercream and we put it on the cookies it was really good wasn't yeah it? yeah we really enjoyed it all right so <laughs> you guys will never believe what I just did so my computer I'm streaming on my laptop right I'm recording on my laptop so it is sitting on a stand and I have a laptop I don't have a computer so I have like the mouse that's you know the little trackpad in the center I literally just put my hand on my desk and move my finger around like I was gonna do something <laughs> you can't see me do it but that is why I totally cracked up okay Back to business. All right. So tell everyone, what do you think about your mom owning her own bakery? Uh, I don't know. Really? You don't know. What do you think? It sucks. It's no. cool. It's interesting. It's, it's unique. It's, it's different. It's interesting, but at the same time, I I do like it and I don't, I like it, but at the same time it's like, eh, because she's always on the computer and it sucks. I am on the computer. And then yells at me for trying to talk to her. <laughs> I am on the computer a lot. Um, I do all the stuff online because I am remote. I live in Florida, so I can't be physically in the shop. So I do all the behind the scenes stuff, which requires me to be on my computer. And sometimes that means I have to tell my kids, you have to stop um, while I am working. Um so sometimes she gets in trouble because like I get real intent on what I'm typing or thinking about. She's like, bop, bop, bop. And I'm like, girl, you got to stop. I'm like literally trying to type something out and you are just like in intruding on my brain here. Girl, just chill, chill. All right. So last question for you. When you grow up, what do you want to be? A Disney Imagineer. And a Disney Imagineer. That's pretty cool. <laughs> we are huge Disney fans. We go to Disney, obviously living in Florida. We go to Disney at least once a month. Yeah. Uh, if not more. It started with my husband. He uh, used to go with his family all the time. They love Disney. Um, when Brianna was little, we took her to Disney for the first time. And it became my husband and I's life mission to be able to take our kids annually to Disney like his family used to do. Uh, and then we moved to Florida and it became way more convenient. And now we love to go because we love to stop and like just check out all the things that you miss yeah. when you go to Disney. So when you go to Disney, you're like rides and this and we're focused so hard on meeting characters and eating and like doing these things. We're going to like enjoy the festivals and all the, the decorations. The Halloween decorations of the parties. Yeah. So sometimes we go and it might be like we're only going to so one year what was it like september that one year they were going to be ending a lot of these like little attractions that we sometimes catch but when you're on the go like you don't always catch up um and they were like um the Muppets do like a great, reenactment great moments of history. Yeah. Great moments of history. So they like do reenactments of history and stuff. And like that was going away. And there were these really cool animal puppets that we had seen, but we hadn't gotten to spend a lot of time yeah. seeing them at animal kingdom that was going away. And so we went one weekend and like, 
everything that was going to be ending, we did. Fireworks shows, puppet shows, you name it. Like if it was ending, watching like the mime, like all of that, if it was ending, like we were going to go see it. Yeah. Um, and so it's things like that. Well, when we, like the card, the card, the magic one, sorcerer cards. Oh yeah. Like when sorcerer and Mickey cards were going away, like we went and we did that or, um, we like to go to the festivals and we like to just like, that might be the only thing we do for the day is like festivals. the festival and looking at all the artwork and stuff. So yeah, it's allowed us to like slow down and really nerd out on that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> So, all right, you guys, now that you know a little bit more about each of my kiddos, each of my sister's kiddos, and a little bit more about us, I'm going to let you go. I will see you guys next week, but I wanted to announce one other thing. I am so excited because I will be heading up with my sister's kids and my kiddos in July. We will be up north for the month of July, be, and then we'll be back here in Florida before school starts, which means I will be in the shop. If you guys are like, hey, that's so exciting. I haven't met you. I'd love to meet you. Stop by the shop. I should be in the shop. It's a little crazy because everybody's been trying to like narrow down my schedule. I hate when that happens. I hate committing because I get like super anxious. Like, how am I going to get it all done? So I've been like non-committal. It drives my family crazy. Um, so I will be up the first week of July, but I do have a wedding that I have to go to in Chicago. So I'll be back in the shop for sure. Starting July 14th. I'd love for you guys to stop by. Um, I'd love to meet all you guys. I know you guys see my mom, you see my sister, but I would love to meet you guys as well. All right, you guys, besides just on live, you know, because I am here once a week, too. All right, you guys, I'm going to hop off of here. You have a wonderful rest of the week, and we will see you back here on Wednesday. Bye.